This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 shocking deaths in the Pokemon anime. Still, she waited and waited, never moving from that spot, until finally her body was turned into stone, just like the cliff upon which she stood. Even if you're somehow able to stop me, I will still destroy the world. Count on it. Oh no! We've been totally separated from our bodies! Honda, Honda. No way! I don't want to be a ghost yet! For this list, we'll be looking over the Pokemon anime and movies, and highlighting the times that people and pocket monsters actually died. Keep in mind, we're including resurrections as well. Got a pokey death that still haunts you? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which Pokemon list you want to see next. Number 10, Jay and her whole team. <laughs> to give this hunter some credit, she's far better at her job than Team Rocket, but then again, they aren't snatching up Pokemon and selling them on the black market. She might have made it big if she hadn't made it her mission to snag herself some legendaries. Obsessed with capturing the Lake Guardians, Jay earned the wrath of the adorable gods when she was hit by two future sight attacks at once. All right, return to base. The results of which sent her, her Pokemon, and the rest of her crew to the bottom of a whirlpool, never to be seen again. Poachers get poached. Number 9, Lysander. Even if you're somehow able to stop me, I will still destroy the world. Count on it. The leader of Team Flare may have more swag than most evil corporate heads, not to mention some fierce mega evolutions in his squad, but not even he was going to be able to withstand tangoing with something like Zygarde. You have no right! So convinced that his perfect plan of conformity would work, the man not only loses his sanity, but also his life when Zygarde revealed its final form, sending him to an alternative dimension. Not sure about you, but any substance made entirely of green cascading energy does not seem like something you can come back from. Not yet. Move. It's not over yet. Number 8, Pikachu and many others. In what universe does it seem like a good idea to screw with Eviltal? The beast was literally born to be a destroyer. Don't get us wrong, it's one of the coolest legendaries out there, but you don't want to strut up to something like this without a Master Ball in tow. Alas, Pikachu and a whole lot of others got in its way, and as such, got hit by an Oblivion Wing. Pikachu. Evil Toll not only turns Pikachu to stone, but every other side character in the movie, and it would have remained that way if Xerneas hadn't showed up to fix everything. Pikachu! <laughs> Number 7, Ash Ketchum. So, remember when a Marshadow controlled a mob of Pokemon just so it could beat Ash's ass to death and send him to the afterlife? Well, according to this reboot movie, that's how Ash's first day as a trainer went down. Seriously, the little git cut him down like he was a Caterpie. Thankfully, Ho-Oh, who art in heaven, decided not to render the 90s anime completely irrelevant and brought him back to the land of the living in an admittedly touching reunion scene. Further proof that Ash is Pokey Jesus. Pikachu! <laughs> Number 6, Luxray. When I was young, my parents were away for work more than home. My family had a Luxray who took care of me. It was always with me, 
Of course, that's not even the saddest death that I Choose You flung our way. They took one of the most beloved characters from the Diamond and Pearl generation and froze it to death. A childhood friend of Sorrel, we see that during a snowstorm, Luxray ventured out and found his master dying of cold. So naturally, it used its body to keep him warm and alive until the blizzard ended, but in doing so, gave up its own life. That is Giratina levels of messed up right there. After that, I was afraid to make friends with Pokemon for a very long time. Number 5, Ash Ketchum and Pikachu. Oh no, we've been totally separated from our bodies. Honda, Honda. No way, I don't want to be a ghost yet. Ah yes, the first of many. While exploring an abandoned house, both Ash and Pikachu meet an unfortunate demise due to a chandelier falling on them. It's only thanks to the naughty antics of Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar that they're able to have an out-of-body experience and go on an ectoplasmic joyride. As you can tell, death here is treated with all the seriousness of a lick attack. If anything, you should feel sorry for Misty and Brock, since Ash decides that now that he's a phantom, he might as well mess with them. Come for a ride with me, Misty! <laughs> ah, Misty! <laughs> <laughs> Number 4, Cyrus. What do you think of that? You no longer have the power to control Dialga or Palkia. I wouldn't be so sure. <sighs> He wanted to recreate the galaxy into one that he could rule. In some twisted way, Cyrus actually got what he wanted. Atop Spear Pillar, the mad commander of Team Galactic doesn't hesitate to leap into a portal to what appears to be an alternative cosmos by himself. No spacesuit or anything, just hopped right on into the vacuum of space. Cyrus, stop! It's mine. Mine alone! It's not like he can come back anyway, since Dialga and Pogia made sure to close that portal up real quick. Guess he's the next universe's problem now. Cyrus, sir. Uh, no! Uh. Number three, Ash Ketchum and friends. Take care of yourself and all the others. I'll miss you, buddy. I love you. <laughs> Boy, will you please stay on the mortal coil for at least five minutes. After the Tree of Beginnings is sabotaged, it unleashes the deadliest surge of antibodies ever, consuming everything around it into a blobby hell. Run for it, guys! This tree really doesn't like humans, and without Mew to control it, Ash, Brock, May, Max, Jesse, James, and all other side characters get swallowed up by it. If not for Mew putting things back to normal, the cast would have remained tree sap. <laughs> Number 2, Stoutland. So. In terms of realism and how it speaks to a younger audience, the death of this doggo is a clear standout. While watching Litten's close friend succumb to its old age is genuinely upsetting, the fact it pushes a message of acceptance makes it one of the franchise's high points. Stop! 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 As much as you love your pets, they aren't always going to be around. Still doesn't make it any easier to watch the big fella pass away, though. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1, Ash Ketchum. No matter how many times this kid from Pellet Town gets his soul torn out of his body, nothing will ever top the time he became a martyr by standing in the way of Mew and Mewtwo's attack. 
While you would have thought that taking two psychic blasts from two legendaries would turn him into his namesake, for some reason Ash gets turned to stone. Any other person, this would be the end, but thankfully Ash has the tears of Pokemon to bring him back from the beyond, so he can cheat death, but he can't get past age 10. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.